Hey everyone, it's Enrico from JBA University and we're here at Infocom 2024 with the recent launch of DLive Firmware 2.0 and I'm here with Dr. Rob Clark from Allen & Heath. Hi. Talk me through the firmware update that is available for everybody that owns a DLive. Exactly, yeah, V2.0 firmware. Well, first of all, it's been in the making for some years. I think there's there's been, for the, over the last four years, there's been R&D research going into vocal processing, next level reverb, so we can really reproduce everything that's been requested by the massive user base of DLive. Not only effects, there's, there's a, additions to, there's the Qlist editor and a load of MIDI to support that so you can really control how your MIDI integrates with your, your Qlists, be it from the mix track or the surface for scene, mm -hmm. for proper scene recalls and something like that over MIDI. Nice. Um, there's also obviously the, um, the uh, director uh, preview Mm -hmm. uh, solution and also many many other little features crammed into the release. So do you see these working for for touring, for house of worship, like who who does this benefit? Uh, well everyone. Um, <laughs> I mean the cutest Q edit, uh, editor has been uh, heavily requested by houses of worship, theatres, but also touring people want to change things and manipulate what they want to do on each night so yeah all been requested by the user base. Nice. I'm very, very proud to have them in the, in, in, in the console. So how about the macros that you guys added? Or the ability to do ah, macros? Actions. <laughs> exactly. Actions. So uh, <laughs> actions. Okay, let's have a quick, uh, let's have a quick look. So in actions, you can basically uh, do what you want. You can, you can set up an environment where you can do manipulations of talk groups, monitors, you could switch in various things across many channels, you could switch all your all of your all of your inserts in and out. That and then, actually and is then something I'm glad you added. <laughs> just program that into a soft key. Yeah. Uh, so if you've got you want the ability to jump out of an insert space, maybe over Dante or Waves or something like that, you can just program an action scenario up and just have a soft key snap you out of a, an insert environment now, and have it toggle. Is that a is that like a global thing or can you just have it do it on certain channels? Like how customized? Oh, it's fully flexible. It's fully okay. customizable so you can do anything you wish on there. But it doesn't just stop with that. There's talk group, talk, talk group, talk back group and manipulations, all sorts of things for, to do with monitors and comms. You can program all sorts of uh, changes to the environment and just have a touch of a button uh, to, to make that change. Awesome. Um, so that's something that's available for everybody. For everybody, yeah. there's no no cost to that. Um, but you do, guys do have something new. That's right. So, as you said, the uh, 2.0 has all these features packed in, uh, available for everybody. But if you buy the uh, the Rack Ultra effects card, you get the next generation of FPGA and ARM effects slots, and this goes into the mix rack. So you open up your mix rack load in your Rack Ultra effects card, and this affords you an additional eight super powerful effects units on top of the existing 16. So, when you guys designed DLive, you left a slot? <laughs> yeah, there's a slot, there's an expansion slot inside there for this very purpose. Uh, and when we're finally ready to find the, the next generation up on effects with using uh, ARM processor and FPGA, Mm -hmm. We jumped on board and designed the card. And we so, started. We started the algorithm research four years ago. Wow. What did it take four years? Because you guys were dialing in things. Like, how did it take, or why did it take that long? Well, about four years ago, the D Live user base were requesting vocal processing, mm -hmm. uh, pitch correction, formant modification, formant correction. Um, harmonizers, auto key detection with harmonizers, MIDI harmonizers, <laughs> and the next generation of reverb. They wanted to match what's possible in studio reverbs, be it super plugins or super standalone units uh, at that level. So they really were requesting that that jumped into the console, along with saturation, uh, amp amplifier wow. modeling, and uh, cabinet simulation. So with the new set of effects that you guys have added, um, you know, you've mentioned pitch correction is one of them. I guess my first question would be for somebody that's singing that's on a wireless mic that's also on ears, are you adding to the latency that's going on in the board? Very good question. So we, we, we really weren't very happy about tackling this solution until we had the, the, the right amount of power in ARM processing and FPGA so we could provide super fast um, 
pitch pitch detection for pitch gridding, which I'll show you the effect in a minute, um, and also really low latency for, for vocal correction. So signal latency for, for signal, for the audio vocal, have that really low for, for uh, vocal correction, but for pitch gridding, it's, it's very important that the, the pitch oh. detection is extremely fast to create that effect. 100%, because like if you're singing and it's going out through a card as an insert and coming back, like you, you feel that. <laughs> And also for formant correction and formant modification, that's where, we, where the arm stepped in and provided us the kind of flexibility and power to do very, very high-end studio-grade formant correction. Nice. It, and it's your own algorithms for all this? You guys absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, so it's four guys for four years have been working hard on reverbs <laughs> and vocal processing. Let's take a look. Yeah, yeah, show me. So here's the existing uh, 16 effects that everyone who uses D-Lives uh, fully fully uh, familiar with, but if we touch the Rack Ultra Effects tab, we then go into the world of the eight uh, additional uh, effects units afforded by the card. So let's have a look. So let's start with Vocal Shifter. Um, this is a very high-end vocal shifter, uh, super low latency, but not only does uh, stereo pitch shifting um, on either side, but also formant correction and formant modification. And this is great for uh, pitch doubling or formant modification, you're making a vocal uh, age or sound younger, or, or just do formant correction whilst do pitch shifting. That's cool. Then vocal tuner. Uh, this is where the FPGA provides very, very low signal latency for very high end vocal tuning, for vocal correction. And is this, um, like if you're using this in the course of a set, can you control the key with MIDI? Absolutely, yes. You can go into uh, the routing page, go into MIDI setup, or you can drive. Oh, so that's all MIDI, MIDI controllable. Yeah, you can you can not only control all all of the all of the controls on the front panel over MIDI, but you can also control the key essentially. I mean, that's uh, going to be the most important thing, but that's great that you can do everything else. Also, global key. So you're used to global tap tempo. You've also got a global key, so you could switch the unit into global key. Why are you guys so smart? <laughs> and then switch in, we'll just manually pick a key, and then of course, reference pitch. That's and the awesome. all important bypass. Gridder uh, looks similar, but a very different algorithm. This is really driven by the ARM processor. Uh, and so this is more of like a hard quick, tuning. Yeah, hard tuning, super quick pitch detection, super quick vocal gridding. Then the dual harmonizer, which has auto key detection. So you can then copy the auto key detection across to a manual if you wish. Or again, you can drive that via MIDI. Two vocal um, harmonizers set in with both performance correction. And meanwhile, the FPGA provides reverb, chorus, auto expansion, and pitch and time variation to add a bit of humanization to, to, the, to the harmony. Then the full-blown four quad, or the quad voice harmonizer, but that doesn't have uh, auto key detection because the arm and FPGI are just packed doing uh, four voices. Uh, it's, yeah, it's, all it's with a lot. correction and with reverb, chorus, auto expansion, pitch variation, time variation built in. Then let's step across to the amp and cab models. So we've got uh, Deluxe. You'll, 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 you'll recognize these names, various uh, amplifier models. Um, distortion pedal, a very famous distortion pedal model, and uh, a very very famous uh, bass amplifier model, and then various cabinets to go along with that, and the all important none if you want to switch in, for example, the uh, the distortion pedal and have no cabinet simulation on a vocal, for example, you can turn the cabinet simulations off. And there's at least three bass cab simulators. So the the, the bass the bass amplifier and bass cabs have been very very popular, very very well received. I mean, a lot of bass players are direct, so I, absolutely, I totally get it. So let's switch on to the saturator. So this has five different models of saturation, uh, all modeling transformer, valve. Uh, transistor, class A, B circuits, all sorts of things are in there across the modes A through to E, and you've got bias and harmonic drive, distortion. You can switch pad in, and that gives you a more um, desensitized route of um, putting it onto a mix bus. And that's going into it, not going out of it, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then tilt and output filters to, to change the color and, and spectrum of uh, the output, the saturation. Uh, plate, so there's 11 plate models. Some are modeled, uh, obviously physical plates, uh, but also uh, models of some plugins. 
Wow. Uh, and the top plugins that we could find in the reverb space. So that was a lot of fun. Um, remember, each of these slots is like four times more powerful than the existing effects slot. And this is how we're able to create this power. And the ARM processor sits in there and really does help out the FPGA. So does that mean if you're using the Rack Ultra effects, you are limited to eight slots of those, correct? Yes. This card gives you eight of these super powerful slots, which are kind of Loosely speaking, four times more powerful than the existing effects. So this is just a totally different funnel than your other built-in effects. Absolutely. So with the card, you, you get your 16 effects existing, and you get these eight additional. Awesome. Awesome. Um, I guess a question I have to ask you, because I've already seen the chats blowing up with it, and I'm sure you've been asked this by now. Are we going to see this kind of trickle down into, like, Avantis and... Yeah. I hope so, if that's what the customers want, I mean, and the users and people uh, who use our equipment. Um, obviously, the, the, the power of the... That's like a the, next generation thing. Like, I, there's I totally a lot of horsepower there, so I'm not sure how we squeeze this into a, to a CQ, for example, <laughs> but it could be fun trying. Um, just like to end on the Spaces Reverb, which um, is, a, is, a, is an amazing uh, piece of uh, algorithm development, and this really does provide all sorts of halls, rooms, large space reverbs at the very highest of... Uh, uh, resolution and quality. Um, this quick setup is really, really useful for live. Of course, you can get live, uh, load in a library, but you could just dial in from a quick setup. Or if you're an expert, go across and play around with textures, echoes, and space control. That's how you guys always handle reverb. There's a simple and there's an expert mode. I think the last thing to mention is all of these uh, eight additional effects units come with a dedicated stereo send and return in addition. To, to what's in the console already. So you're not having to steal returns or sends from what you've got inside the console already. This has an additional eight stereo returns and uh, stereo sends feeding each of the eight racks. Wow. Or you could insert them if you wished. So does that mean that if you're using the vocal tuner stuff, is that's running in stereo or mono? Uh, that's running in mono. Okay, so you're, you're specifically but saying that like... that slot has a stereo bus and return configured got for it. it. So you're not sending two vocals to that. Yeah. As, That's uh, quite important. So, you, you know, you've got eight more effects. You, do, you might not have eight bus spares, but this provides them for you. And it also provides um, uh, dedicated pre and post EQ and pre and post dynamics, which can be keyed from all sorts of sources. So you can create some really wonderful um, dynamics processing pre or post your effects unit and key it off another signal. That's awesome. So yeah, huge amount of power and flexibility. Um, so something I heard them mention earlier as well, so this is, if you d own a DLive currently, you can continue using your DLive. That's right. And you can opt to buy the Rack Ultra Effects card or not. Yes. You just, you'll get all the firmware stuff we talked about, but this won't be included. But if you buy a DLive going forward, it's gonna ship with all this stuff included, right? That's right, so, so this card's, uh, an, uh, an accessory, an expander for an existing D-Live customer. Uh, in, in, in the near future, all of our racks will become fitted with the card. So a new D-Live will be fitted with uh, the eight Rack Ultra effects as standard. That's awesome. <laughs> Glad you like it. Yeah. Um, anything else you wanted to cover? Or is that... No, I think we've got it wrapped. Awesome. Well, thanks for, thanks for your time. I really appreciate it. No um, worries. Thank you guys for sticking your way through this video. We're JBA University. We're here at Infocom 2024. This is some awesome stuff from Alan and Heath and, and Dr. Rob Clark. I really appreciate your time. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments and do all the YouTube stuff. Do the, do the like, subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you next time. Thanks. Cheers.